First tonight on KVU News at 5 o'clock, the Army Sergeant who shot and killed a well-known Austin Black Lives Matter protester is indicted on three charges, including murder in Travis County. The shooting death of Garrett Foster, who was carrying an assault-style rifle at the time in downtown Austin, made national headlines and raised issues about self-defense and Second Amendment rights. As senior reporter Tony Plohetsky is here now with the latest. Thank you for joining us tonight, Tony. Absolutely. A lot going on in this case case, Brian and Ashley Sergeant Daniel Perry turned himself into jail on those charges this afternoon, and he has been released from jail on bond. The charges include murder, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and a misdemeanor charge of deadly conduct. His bail was set at $300,000. You may remember this happened in July 2020 in downtown Austin along Congress Avenue. Perry was working in the Austin area at the time as an Uber driver. He was stationed at Fort Hood and he turned into the crowd gathered on the street, according to APD. The key issue in this case is whether Foster pointed his gun at Perry. Perry has said that he fired in self-defense. Many in Austin's activist community struggled with Foster's death. He had lived in the city for about two years after moving here from the Dallas area. He and his wife, a quadruple amputee, were frequent participants in the protest last summer. A statement from Perry's attorney said, quote, We understand the political motivations of the district attorney. However, when this case is presented to a jury at trial and the jury gets to hear the evidence, we have every confidence Sergeant Perry will be acquitted. And Ashley and Brian, we will, of course, have more on this developing story at 6. The district attorneys actually called a news conference to talk about the case at 530 this evening. He has, Tony. And in fact, we're going to bring that news conference to all of you. That's right, Travis County. Uh, district Attorney Jose Garza will be holding that news conference today in about 30 minutes from now at 530. You can watch that on our website, kview.com. Tony, thanks for being here. You bet.